Hello and welcome to Community Reports on Channels Television. Today we take you to a certain part of Lagos, the commercial capital of Nigeria, and bring you pictures, sights and sound of a neighborhood united in purpose as regards how they want to lead their lives. They are particular about green life, healthy living, comfort, and have instituted every apparatus to enjoy that healthy lifestyle and make sure it's not compromised. This is the story of Banana Island. Sit back and be a part of it. I'm Olu Felix. Depending on who is looking or drawing up analysis, Lagos will mean different things to different people. The thinking is largely based on experiences, preferences, versions, and connections that constitute the entire makeup of the people or institutions in the state and are such influences outside the state. There is a common denominator, though, which stems sometimes from obvious attributes of the state. The pace of life, the people, the buildings, the commercial cladings, and physically the aquatic expressions, and in it the name, the state of aquatic splendor. The very nature of its environment meant that the residents are taking advantage of the topology for aesthetical value. The Victoria Islands of today's world, Lekki Peninsula and most environs in that axis are mainly reclaimed lands. As designs evolve, many developments have become very deliberate. In Lagos, Nigeria, we now have artificial islands built for purpose. One of such community that fits the billing of a from lagoon water to built up structures is Banana Island in Ikui. Interestingly, there is nothing about this community that was chanced on or happened in a vacuum. Everything from design to finish is a careful and deliberate plan, strategy and execution by the founders. I, I think we live in one of the best estates. We have facilities that work, we have uh, services that work and um, we have, um, I would say, easily one of the best environments where anyone would like to live. You, you wake up in the morning and you can go jogging before you go to work and uh, security is good. Um, basically, it's, I mean, the environment is 100%. You know, it, it, it wasn't a fluke, we created it. The residents, as we came in, we said, look, we wanted to create a place that would be home. So when you come into the gates of Banana, you know you are home. And that's, we've got, we went out of our way to create it. Whether or not it's great, the ambience, the environment, we, uh, even the infrastructure and the services, we take, we put a lot of effort and resources into managing them and ensuring that they are top shape. It's peculiar, it's peculiar about the structure, it's peculiar about the personality of people that stays here. It's peculiar because they stand out in everything that they do, like electricity, clean environment, sanitation, um, and many other things. Until you come, you might not see for yourself, but when you come in, you will see what uh, Banana Island is actually made of. The serene environment, the aesthetic value, the security, and one of the things that make Banana Island stand out among uh, many estates, and also it's um, an estate that is free of erosion, you know. 
Um, of recent, there is high downpour of rainfall, but um, and every nearly all the estates and road were full of um, were eroded. But in Banana Island, what we have was just a runoff. After some few minutes, say maximum of two minutes, everything returns to normal. So we don't have erosion. Those are part of the things that make it so unique, that make it so special. Well-paved out roads clearly marked out structures and area. The residential and the mixed residential area, which is mainly designated for commercial buildings. Before you start, we need to see your approved drawings. You can't move to site unless you have approved drawings, and you, you, you I mean, and you, we must see them. And with that, we can then make a few more additions and encourage you to look, put in a little more grass area, a few more trees. And then we do have this committee that takes care of the environment. We have, if, if you gain, you walk down our avenues and our closes, they're all filled with trees and um, shrubs and so on. It's all planted and maintained by the estate. So I want to say that the executive are doing fine and they have a fantastic set of people, which is the staff that implement every vision. Light has been stable, good roads, maintenance, um, the silting has been part of their vision. Jetty and um, Jetty, Jetty Club has been part of the vision. Security has been all, we have always been working on our security. We never rested. We have the vice chairman also who put his feet down on security. And this transition continues and is always depending on vision. Music